Hey everybody, Mary Z back once again for Voice Hacks. Well, in today's tutorial, we are gonna cover one of the biggest questions that I get over and over, which is what are some techniques to learn to switch from clean vocals to harsh in the middle of a song? So today we're gonna take a look at the concept of switching from clean vocals to harsh vocals mid song. Say you have a chorus that's all harsh vocals and verses that are all clean. How do you do that? How do you get used to that? Well, it's actually a little bit simpler than you think. So I'm gonna lay it out in simple steps and terms. And I think you guys will find it really approachable when you actually break it down like that. First step is to make sure you actually know how to do all the techniques accurately before you begin. None of these tips will really work if you can't actually scream. You have to learn how to scream first, whatever it is, no matter, even if it's just voice with distortion, raspy singing or shouting, you still need to know your exact styles of scream, each one you plan to include in the song very well, technically well, before you even try to include them in a song. And then the second step is, once you've learned all the techniques you're gonna use in the song, is to plan exactly where you're going to do them. So if it's an original composition, you really wanna make sure that you have pre-planned the exact spots in the lyrics of which style of screams that you're going to do on each exact spot. You have to plan this out. You can't really go into it with an improvisational slant, like you're just gonna figure it out, because at first, you're not able to because you don't have enough control and you have to learn to be able to do that. So at first, you don't want to try to improvise any of this. You want to plan each section of the song exactly and write down or mark in some way exactly what kind of scream you plan to do in each part. Then the third step is to practice each of those styles separately on that song. So if you have, let's say, fry screaming and clean singing in the same song, I would practice all of the fry screaming parts entirely by themselves without singing any of the clean singing parts, just sit silently for those parts before you begin to do them together. And I would also practice the clean singing parts all by themselves before you try to add any of the screaming parts. So practice them separately for like a week or two. Then the next step is to practice small sections of doing them both together. So for example, if you have a clean verse and a screaming chorus, what you wanna do is maybe just start putting them together by doing the first verse and first chorus, and that's it. Do the second verse and the second chorus, then try to put them all together the whole song. So I would build this slowly. Plus what you're doing while you're building this, whether you realize it or not, is you're slowly building stamina to be able to do some of these things throughout the length of the song. So try to put it together slowly like an athlete. Don't try to do them all at once. I guarantee you will not get any better at it if you just keep trying to do it all the way through without taking them apart and planning. In time, you'll get more control. You might be able to improvise things, but the reason why you don't want to try to improvise is because your chords are typically doing something different in each of these sounds. Sounds. And you need to make it very clear to your body which one it's going to do now, or it could be conflicting in there and not sure what to do. And you could be shouting or yelling. And we definitely don't want to hurt ourselves or yell or make ourselves hoarse. So thanks everybody for checking out today's latest tutorial. I hope those are some great tips from how to switch from clean to harsh vocals. If you're looking for more individualized attention, because this stuff is advanced, it's no joke. You can't often learn this from a few videos or in a short period of time or by yourself. I put the link in the description below for my lesson booking portal if you're interested in that. I give lessons to students every week worldwide on Skype. Thanks a lot, everybody, for checking out today's tutorial. I hope that answers a big question for you, and I will see you soon. Bye.